Welcome to Mailbag, where I spend my money so you don't have to spend yours. Stick around, let's see what I purchased this time. You might want some of this. Yeah, you may do. It's been down below. Alright, first thing. Double bagged. Oh yes, okay, cool. Now this is a aid tech box, component box. I've got a few of these already, different I've got um, two different styles already, it's the third style. And uh, I've been using these to sort of organise my parts. Oh look at that. It's been destroyed in the post. Yeah. Guess I'll be claiming that one back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Normally you get these and they're not damaged. <laughs> anyway, you can see it's model parts box and I'll, I'll have to get out of the cellar and say, hey, this thing arrived just completely destroyed. Oh, another one. Anyway. Yes. So, they're good for little parts, little um, stuff that's in tapes and reels. You know, you can get the little cut tapes and just cut them up and put them in here. I've done out some other stuff. And I had some large items which I want to put into a box. And it was going to be this box, but now obviously it's not going to be this box because this box is broken. No, oh, well, it happens. There will be links down below. Hopefully when you buy your ones, it won't come in like this. Alright, what's in here? Batteries, excellent. These are unusual batteries. I've never come across these before until I came... Uh, until I purchased a couple of um, little calibrator references things. So this is a 10F 2015 battery. Now what's not obvious about this is that it's actually a 15 volt battery. And it's a 10F 20 is what it's actually called. Alright, 10F 20. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, and it's like a, it's got a terminal at each end like this. So they're using a lot of these little calibrators you can get on um, AliExpress and places like that. Now I've got some, like voltage references they are really. They come with a little LM339 or something on them. and they come with these batteries and I've had a couple now for a few years and the batteries are dead so I've got some more batteries because you know I like to have the right things for them and if you plug them to a power supply then you're using a potentially a noisy supply for the reference whereas if you're running off a battery then um, they should be good. Alright see so if I can probe through the plastic here and measure the voltages on these to make sure they're not flat already. Can I get through there? Yep, 16 volts. And the other one. 15.9. Yep, they look alright. So, excellent. There'll be links for these down below as well. You may need some of these. What are these? Ah, oh, okay. Right, now I know what these are. These are very small read relays. Very small ones. I went through a little bit of a phase recently where I needed a read relay to repair a Tektronix 851 and the only one I had was a used one. It seemed to be fine but it's used. And I thought, well, well I haven't got any read relays. So I thought, well, I'll stock up. I found all these different sizes and these are really small ones. These are like the smallest ones I've ever seen. So I'm sure you can get them smaller than this probably, but yeah, just little read relays. So you put a magnetic field on them and they close up or open up depending which style they are. I purchased a whole bunch of different read relays recently because I wanted to have a stock of them. Right, yeah. These are some more read relays. These are slightly different footprint ones. They looked interesting. You can see the four pin. Coil is 5 volt DC. And so, I don't know which one's which. I don't know, I have to probably look into it actually, figure out which one's which. But that'd be quite handy for things. I'm sure I'll come across devices which need devices of this type. You know, a bit of test gear. Again, a bit next down below for these things. What's this one? Let me down. It is some more read relays. Different package type. Let's see if I can get into the things. Here we go. It's a style. It's a typical barrel type. A bit more commonly used. CDs and test gear from time to time. So here we go. 500 ohm coil resistance. B. E star. See that? B star. So yeah, single pin at end. Single pin at end. So those two there probably like the to be the um, relay itself, the read. 
and there's two there likely to be the coil, 5 volt DC. There you go. So a pair of those. Again, just stocking up bits and pieces. Putting over a few of those soon. Might be the next one too, who knows. Alright, what's in this one? These are some little PCB adapters. Service mount PCB. I think they're SOT 23 or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I I think it's SOT 23 to uh, service mount to through hole. So you can put some little headers on there. Does it say what they're on here? SOT 2 or SOT the label? Is this SOT 2? Yeah, I think it's SOT 23s anyway. Could be 223s, I, I can't remember. Anyway, some of them. Alright, what's in this one? Just a ribbon cable. I realised I was getting a bit low on ribbon cable, so I thought I'd get some more. I like the rainbow stuff because then you've got pin one is, is marked as black and so on. Um, so you've got the typical you know, electronics colour coding for the numbering of the wires. Handy to have. I don't know what quality this is like. Uh, let's look at the end. Let's we'll see how much wire we've actually got compared to insulation, shall we? I think it's about as focused as I'm going to get it. Yeah, I don't know. It's not too bad, I suppose. It's pretty thin. I can't believe the actual spec was from the actual listing. Um, it's just PVC insulation, nothing particularly exciting there. But yeah, a bit of for that, most probably. Alright, what's in this one? Ah, I saw these on someone else's channel. I can't remember who's now. Someone else had these in the in the mailbag video, I think it was. I wish I could remember who it was. I really thought I'd remember. I don't remember who it was. Anyway, it's like a it's a liquid sensor. So these are sealed units, and it's got this refractory um, pyramid on the end there. And what happens is it's a gives a sensor signal back. It's got four wires. Mm, I'm not sure what the colour coding was. I think red was actually minus or zero volts or something. I can't remember. That to be look at the listing. And um, this actually senses when it gets immersed in water. So when it touches the water, so you know, you've got the surface of water here, for example, where my fingers are, as that goes into the water, it actually turns the sensor on and ind indicates a liquid level. Was in you know that's wet. So you get moisture sensors. Well, this is just sensing a water level being in contact with the surface and as it comes away again it turns back off again so it's quite interesting using refraction quite a curious little thing I was, thought it was quite interesting when I saw it on the other channel I, I just wish I remember whose channel it was I saw that on now if you happen to watch this video and you're the one that showed this before then chuck a comment in down below give your channel a bit of a plug so watch out for that in the comments too and if you're in the comments say hello and have a chat too you know anyone just like, use the comments that's what it's for have a chat I, I, I read all the comments you every single one of them now this is more like a letter than a package, but we'll see what's in here. Just a bit worried about damaging what it might be in there. Let's try and be careful. Now what is in here? Alright, for some reason I went through a little bit of a phase the other day. These arrived quite quickly, I only ordered these I think last week. And these are Prodigy stickers. The ant logos. So if you're fan of the Podgy, you'll recognise these instantly, you know. I won't have to explain this to you. I saw these, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get some of these, so they're in like reflective white. So you can put them in like a back window of your car or something, or if you've got a dull coloured car, you can stick them on that. And um, there's some smaller ones as well, also in reflective white. I think they're, I think they're reflective anyway. And then we've got these black ones as well. So, oh uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Anyway, instructions on how to install them. And um, this is where they came from, candyvinylshop.com. I've got these off eBay. These are on eBay, if you're interested in these. I won't be a link down below for these. Um, just go and search for Podgy stickers or something like that, and you'll find them that way. But yeah. yeah. I don't even know why I bought them. <laughs> I just felt like it at the time. I think I'm going to stick these on my laptops or something like that, so, you know, see which one's mine. Yeah. Last thing. If you're still here, thank you very much for sticking around to the end. It helps my stats on YouTube and makes YouTube think that people like my videos and therefore helps 
to ensure that YouTube will promote me more. It's really helpful if you watch to the end. You can look at the room to see if they're playing, you know, just saying. All right, these, I think, based on the packaging, this looks like aftermarket MacBook power supplies. Based on the packaging. I could be wrong. There'll be links down below anyway. Yep, it's an aftermarket MacBook power supply. Although it has the Apple logo on there, so it's actually quite nice um, aftermarket ones. I've purchased various ones of these before and I've never had a problem with them, they've always been alright. They've always tested okay and that sort of stuff, so these are the 85 watt ones for the uh, earlier MacBooks, like 2010 to the 2013, is it? Something like 2012, something like um, Yeah. And this piece of more of the same. I purchased a few of them because I realised I didn't actually have many, if any. Anyone needs any, we get that. So I've got three of those. So I stocked up again, I don't have to worry about those for a while. Because I've been trying to sell some of these MacBooks I've been fixing. And um, obviously I need to set them with a power supply because it's just can't mess it up the computer without a power supply for we can you? Anyway, so thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all that usual stuff, and uh, check out my playlists and recommend the video too. Share the video to your friends if you think you'll be interested. Catch you later.